Heavy rain, haze, and cloudy skies didn't stop the men from Stargazer Scientific from turning their eyes and their telescopes to the skies on Wednesday morning on the 22nd of July to catch a glimpse of the longest total solar eclipse of the century. Stargazer Scientific Sundar and Burhat, an astronomy equipment distributor based in the Bukit Jalil Golf Club, took the star for a stargazing experience at 7 a.m. in a high-rise apartment above the golf club. Hi, I'm Isagani for the Star Malaysia. We're here in Bobby Chum's apartment. Bobby Chum is the managing director of Stargazer Scientific, and we're here to watch the live telecast of the eclipse as it happens right from China. In a while, we're going to go out ourselves and try and view the eclipse for ourselves with these eclipse shades and the telescopes we have set up in the high-rise apartment. Hopefully, the weather's going to clear up in a bit, and we'll be able to see the partial eclipse in Malaysia for ourselves. The people from Stargazers have set up telescopes to uh, try and catch the eclipse. So, Alan, can you tell me a bit more about the two telescopes you have up here? Okay, today we have a setting with a safety device, which is called a solar filter. In order to view the solar eclipse, we actually have... Can you see this? This is the uh, solar filter. It's a so safety equipment that we must have to view the sun, right? And uh, look at the sun. By, the, by now, it's actually we are having the first or second contact. But... Uh, the weather is not cooperating. Okay, so tell me a bit more about this eclipse. Um, what's exact, what's supposed to happen for the eclipse? Okay, suppose what we can see today is actually 8 to 20 percent visibility, right? It's not a total, what we can see here, because uh, of the path that we are not in directly of the uh, shadow, the moon shadow, in between the sun and our, moon, our earth, right? So what we can see here is actually 8 to 20 percent. I think it's coming out, <laughs> the sun is coming out. Hopefully. So. Hi, uh, I'm here with Bobby Chum, the managing director of Stargazers near Berhad, and we're here in his house watching the eclipse live on TV. So, uh, tell me a bit more about this. What, what are we watching here right now? Uh, it's the total solar eclipse. From where, where is this? Where is this feed from right now? How long have you been stargazing, as you know, for hobby? How long have you been doing this? Long enough. <laughs> long enough. Okay. You see. Uh, the shop is already almost 15 years. Okay. So before that, it's my hobby. So I turned my hobby into business. Huh? We have a club, uh, Star Hunter. Uh, Star the first uh, first club is Star Hunter. I'm the founder. I heard you guys sent a team to uh, China to cover the eclipse today. Yes. So how, how are they doing? Do you know what's going no, on? No, no, no connection. I don't know. <laughs> no don't know. But what I heard, what I know is raining there. Oh, it's raining there. It's though. raining there. It's pretty much raining everywhere then. Um, Their perseverance paid off when the clouds suddenly cleared and the partial solar eclipse was visible. In China, Taiwan and India, the eclipse was total, plunging the affected cities into complete darkness for 6 minutes and 39 seconds. Isagani, The Star Malaysia.